everybody, in this video I'm going to tell you three reasons why you need to diversify your traffic and not just depend on Facebook for your traffic. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see most business owners and I used to be guilty of as well making, so it's very important. If you want your business to survive, this is going to be really, really important. I'm not trying to be over dramatic here, I really think that, so let's get into this video. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I make daily marketing videos, so if you are looking to grow your business or your brand with digital marketing, then be sure to subscribe. So let's talk about Facebook. Something really bad happened and it was that one of my best clients' ad accounts got disabled. And it was for no apparent reason. We got a notice that it said, you you've violated your terms of service and we've disabled your ad account. Now, hopefully, and I'm going to be making a vlog right now about this with the card. You can check it out and click on that card on the steps that I took to get the ad account out of disapproval. And based on the conversation that I've had with Facebook so far, it has been seeming like we're going to get out of disapproval here. And it was just a mistake. But it's terrifying because we have all of our eggs in this basket. We're spending a tremendous amount of money every single day with Facebook. And ultimately, we have no control over the ad account. They can dis disable our ad account or they can arbitrarily say, nope, you can't run ads anymore. If you're giving that kind of power to any platform in your business, you're going to be doing yourself a huge disservice. And if you don't have any other way of acquiring customers other than Facebook, then you're going to be in a huge heap of trouble. So let's talk about a few reasons why you should be diversifying your traffic and not just using Facebook. Reason number one is because you can get your ad account shut down. This seems really simple and, and understandable, but you think it's not going to ever happen to you if you're compliant with all the ad um, guidelines and you're not making false claims, you're not using violence or unrealistic before and afters, right? They're adding all kinds of layers of complexity onto the ad process and it's getting crazy now that you can't, it seems like that you get your ads disapproved for no apparent reason. The reason for that is the Cambridge Analytica scandal that happened and it's Specifically, they're just being crazy because they want to protect themselves. They don't want to have what happened with the rushing um, ad buys and the misinformation that was going on. And so as a result, they're just being overly cautious. And I can understand why they want to do that. They're trying to make their platform more legitimate. And in general, they're under tons of scrutiny. <laughs> so the, the thing that you need to realize is that they're going to do what's best for their stock price. And ultimately, they're going to want to continue selling ad space, but they have to appear above board that they are really making a huge effort in the PR sense that they're making a huge effort to keep advertisers compliant and to make it a safe place so that any advertiser in the whole world could put ads there and want to buy ad space. So you need to think about that. If you have any kind of business that is physical health related, um, supplement related, uh, any kind of financial services offering, these are hot topics that are going to potentially get your ad account flagged just because of the, the niche that you're in. If you use certain words, uh, your ad account can get flagged. So you really want to make sure that you're diversifying your traffic sources and it's not just coming from Facebook. Reason number two that you're going to want to change out your traffic sources. There are so many other traffic sources other than Facebook. You have all kinds of ad networks. You have all kinds of placements that you can do. Google Ads is still a fantastic way to reach clients. And actually, I think that Google Ads has a lot more elements of scale to it versus Facebook. When you start getting into Facebook and doing daily ad spends, as you ramp up your ad spend, typically the cost for acquisition goes up. And depending on the audience size that you have and things, um, it can be difficult to create scale. I think that if you can develop a funnel that works and that you know the offer is works and you know who your target audience is, you can use in-market segments or affinity audiences inside of Google Ads and really help to grow your business. So the ad temperatures for each network is very different. Google is definitely a colder ad network than Facebook is, but when it comes to just the sheer volume of users and the potential for ad buys, Google is still really, really underpriced, in my opinion, especially Google ads on YouTube. Pre-roll ads are a great deal. You can still get really cheap views. You just have to have a solid targeting plan and a funnel and an offer that you know works. 
So that's why I think that diversifying outside of Facebook is very, very important. The third reason why I think that you should develop campaigns outside of Facebook is not only will you have more stability, but you're also going to be able to develop a funnel that is actually a funnel and that drives people through your business. So a lot of times when you're on Facebook and, and especially if you're a small business, you're going to just be posting content out there. And usually you're not thinking too much about what your funnel needs to look like with exception. I mean, without exception, I mean, there's always exceptions to this rule, but most of the small businesses that I see doing social media marketing and digital marketing that are on Facebook exclusively, they're just posting out content and churning out content. They don't necessarily have a developed plan that has made their funnel from start to finish what each step of the funnel and each step of the customer val value journey looks like. And so if you're driving traffic, especially cold traffic, like on um, search networks or YouTube or you know, any of, of the other placements that are out there to buy traffic and send to your business website or your landing pages, it's going to have to force you to build out systems that are going to drive people through your funnel and hopefully create customers. I think that Facebook is great in that it helps to warm up the traffic a lot because there's so much context with the content in that platform. But if you want to be reaching customers that are in the buying decision or the purchasing process, um, using search networks is very, very helpful. And it allows you to really tap into a whole different segment of customers that you aren't finding on Facebook. So if you want to create growth that's scalable and diversified, which is I think the end goal for almost every business out there, you need to have diversification of the traffic. And also you need to be owning as much of the media as you can. And when I say that, I mean that you should absolutely be building out things like email lists and text messaging lists and also push notifications and app downloads if you can have an app or other products like that. Driving people offline too is a great way to help to diversify your traffic. So actually sending them physical products like books or um, different kinds of lead magnets that are physical that you can then mail to them and you're just diversifying your traffic. It's terrifying to have all of your eggs in one basket and to lose that. And you don't think it's going to happen until it does. And so if you're all in on Instagram and Facebook, that's great, but it's time to add some more channels to your traffic because you don't want to get stuck. What are you going to do if it goes down? You have to be thinking about that with all of the volatility that's been going on. So I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to comment below. What is your favorite traffic channels and why? I would love to know why it is. And if you want to improve your digital marketing, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.